Hello, this is Daniel. Welcome to part one of the character modeling tutorial. Uh, today I will show you uh, how to start with your projects and um, yeah, we'll start modeling already right after setting up the uh, our references. So uh, for everyone else who's new to this video and has just joined, um, I'd recommend you to go back and watch the uh, part zero of the series here. Uh, in that video I'm summarizing all the important informations that you need to know before watching this and also um, talking about some of the changes that I've made to my version of Blender that can lead to confusion and of course lots of questions in my last tutorial. So make sure to check that out to um, yeah, for having it easier to follow this tutorial and I'll start with the project here. So first thing I want to do is here's my reference, the first one that I'm going to use of the couple of ones that I've created for this project. I'm going to drag and drop it into Blender and by doing that it appears as a background image as soon as you switch to one of the side views. So while rotating by the way uh, and you while you're rotating and you're close to one of the axes, like here, you can also hold down ALT and your view will snap to uh, the side. Now, we are not in the side view, but we're still in perspective, so with numpad 5 or my custom key, um, you can switch to orthographic view mode and as soon as you do that, you can see the reference. That works then from any view, just so you know. So now with N I can bring up this menu here and over here under background images you can then um, find all the settings for your background images. So as for the front view, by the way, let's quickly change that to front view so that we only see it from the front. Um, we don't have to change much. I do like having a bit of a strong opacity just because it makes it look cooler. <laughs> Never mind. Um, we don't have to change anything because the, the image is centered already and everything is good. Now from the side view we need to add another image. And I'm going to select this one again from the list. But we will have to center it to one of the sides. So we are on the right side, so for, uh, looking from the right side. So we need to use this side here. And you can see that worked. Quite well. Now from the front view you can still see both from the side view only this one. You can quickly change that by selecting right here. And also let's increase the opacity a little bit. So that's the setup right now. <coughs> um, yeah. Depending on which view you're looking from, uh, you get the right um, view in the middle. Alright, so um, the first thing that we want to work on is like the main body, everything except the limbs for now. Um, we are going to start modeling right now. So let's add a cube. Um, here it is, and what we want to do is go to edit mode with tab and use control R to uh, create a loop cut and just place it in the middle with a click. And then while sliding, just do um, a right click to reset the position and it's now perfectly centered in the middle. I'm now going to select one entire side and delete the vertices. And add over here a mirror modifier to have this side mirrored on the other side. By the way, in case this is not centered in your um, scene like this, Alt-G quickly centers it. Make sure that it's in the center. Um, I'm also going to click on this icon because then you have the sources visible on both sides, which is something I like. Um, you have to decide for yourself whether you like it or not. Now, move it. Um, actually, let's create two more loop cuts here and here just to have it even. Uh, same way we did before. And let's move it to appear somewhere. Um, and now I'm going to use the smooth vortex feature that's here 
and I have a custom shortcut that's Q and I'm going to use that in most of the cases but make sure if you want to have the same shortcut to change your shortcut here or just right click it should be add shortcut for you or something <coughs> so it should look something like that and we're going to now adjust the proportions of everything in wireframe view mode I'm selecting now with box selection uh, the different areas and by the way, with A you can select and dislike stuff, uh, just in case you're viewing down here and you see A often. Uh, whenever I deselect something, I just press A. Um, if you want to scale something here, you don't need really to scale it because uh, it's it's clipping here because we set that in our modifier. So you just move it inwards and these can't give in, so that's why this works. Um, yeah, something like that should work. Always make sure to have both vertices selected in the front and the back for now. But that won't matter so much anyways soon because now we're going to select the whole thing and rotate it. Um, let's see. With By tapping G twice, uh, you can slide a loop, by the way, also good to know. All right, something like that should do. Uh, we're just trying to follow the raw shapes of of the body part. <coughs> now in edit mode, select the whole thing and duplicate it with Shift E downwards, and scale it along the Z axis by minus one. And then you get something like this with a weird shading. So you need to recalculate the normals by pressing with this still selected, Control N, and then it's all right again. Now we'll adjust again this part uh, from the for the lower part of the body. Uh, I will go back to this wireframe view mode and adjust everything I need to. Let's just see how how we can get a good result. Um, yeah, here we'll do a bit more than with the upper body. Just a few little adjustments just try to um, capture the, the shape of the reference as good as you can with those few polys. So I'm using here proportional editing to um, in, in connected mode to manipulate many words at once by scrolling you can define the radius of influence and to connect these two parts now just select these two words in the middle delete them, uh, then with ALT uh, right click you can select these edges and with SHIFT as well select the second one and then use tab spacebar and type in bridge to find the bridge um, feature. So that's uh, what we've created today. I guess I'm going to stop the video here to keep these rather short but uh, just so that you have the time to really follow them and such. So it doesn't look very exciting at the moment, but we'll keep working on it and um, improve it in the next part. See you later. Thanks for watching.